Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today is going to be February 17th, and this is the hashtag Stash to Treasure Open Collaboration, co-hosted by Sherry from Tur Turquoise Dreaming, Susan from Susan Hiles Art, Maria from Maria's Miscellany, and myself. And this is the second to the last week on this open collaboration. However, you are more than welcome to join whenever you want. Just make sure you use the hashtag, and that way you will be put in the library of all the videos that... Um, are made under for this collaboration. So today, the prompts for uh, what we're gonna be using are fabric, lace, thread, twine or string, and buttons, okay? Now, you know I'm working on my series of four different um, nature journals, and some of these have been a real stretch for me, some of these prompts, because the point of a nature journal is you take it outside and you draw and, and write what you see. So you don't really want a whole lot of pre-decorated uh, things. So this is my spring one. This is the one I'm going to be working on first. So I'm going to show you what I decided to do um, for using today's prompts. And plus, I do actually have to back up a little bit. These are my signatures. I haven't sewn them in. They will be sewn in next week. Um, but um, last week we were doing the washi tape and um, I made some pockets to go in here uh, in my journals, in each of my journals. Matter of fact, I have them right here. So let's see here. The spring ones are these ones right here with this, the little bird. Now I haven't decorated most of the other ones. These are the summer ones. I'm just showing you the um, washi tape uh, and stuff that I've used. This is the fall ones, and then this is the winter ones. Okay, so each of them has some uh, cards and the pockets, which will be glued in to the um, glued on a page or flipped around on, you know, the page flips will go on the papers. So what I thought I'd do today, this is just my little writing board, so I'm going to take that out of the way here. I made this on one of the, uh, for one of the prompts too. So two things that I'm going to be working on today, and let me hold on a second, you're going for a little ride. Let me back my camera up a tiny bit so you can see better. Sorry about the shaking. Okay, uh, two little things I'm going to be doing. First of all, before before I start, I would be terribly um, uh, remiss to not thank Dave for getting me the boxes that I'm making these these journals out of. I said my girlfriend gave them to me. She did give them to me. However, Dave, her husband, is my box man, and he brings me all kinds of boxes for using for Etsy and um, to mail my things in Etsy. He works in a company that uses a lot of small um, electronic things, so he gets me good, solid, smaller boxes that are just great for mailing. And then he got this whole stack of boxes that if you go back to the first video, you see what I made these journals out of. Dave, thank you so much, and I'm so sorry that I gave the credit to Barb. It is actually you who brought these to me, and I, I thank you for that. Barb was just the go-between go there. But thank you, Barb. I appreciate you a little bit in it, too. So anyway, that being said, I had to say that uh, we're going on, uh, we're going to go on. Let's do today's prompt first. Now, like I said, it's very hard for me to do any kind of real decoration because um, I don't want to bulk this up or over decorate it. I have this fabric here and it's it looks like muslin but it's not muslin. Uh, muslin. It's, it's more cottony like that and a little stiffer than that. But I thought it would be fun to go ahead and put some kind of decoration on these pockets on the front and the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping and then maybe I will um, attach some of the little fabric stamps to the front of the um, pockets there. So let me see. I'm not even sure. Yep, I can tear it, which is good because I want, uh, I like that kind of uh, more natural edge. So let me go ahead and um, cut a few of these and I'm just like like I've done in the past I'm only going to be doing the spring journal on video 
the others I do on my own time because you don't want to have to sit through me doing this, you know, however many times. So I have some stamps that I would use for spring here. And spring really is all about the leaves and the flowers. So I thought maybe, let me see if this one's big enough. Yeah, I like this. This is a leaf, like a leaf stamp here. And I have some ink here, um, some green ink. So I thought maybe I would stamp a leaf on one of these things here. And we're going to attach that to the pocket as a little decoration. And this, using this muslin type or cottony type fabric. Oh yeah, that came out well, look. Um, using this cottony type fabric, it's not going to add a lot of bulk. Because that, that was the one thing I didn't want to do was add bulk. Okay, so that's the leaf. So let's go ahead and use... Um, Let's use a little leaf and then maybe put a flower on also. Let's use some little leaf here. Okay, so I put that little leaf like that. And let me see now if I can do the flower, a flower, pick one of these flowers. Ooh, this is a tiny little leaf that fell off here. Okay, let's see what flowers do I like here. Um, these are all kind of like M M Mandela style flowers. Oh, I like this one down here. This is really cute. So for this one, I think we will use some pink. Um, this is just archival ink in brilliance. I think that this might actually be a metallic ink. I'm not sure. It's one that I got, I don't know where. Okay, so we've got the little flower there. Let's let's add a couple flowers. Let's make this one really flowery. So let's go ahead and put another flower up here. This this fabric, whatever it is, really does take stamp stamping well. So we'll put that there. And then let's get a different flower. Doesn't look like I've ever used this little guy up here. Let's go ahead and use him. Let's use this Stampin' Up pad here. Oh my gosh. These these pads, <laughs> I know they're not hard to use. I know when you know how to use them, they're not hard to use. But good night. I struggle with these things, the way they're designed. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some orangey, yellow. Oh, well, it came out almost brownie. But that's okay. That's all right. We'll add another one here. I've got to be careful because my muslin is curling up a little bit. Okay, so we've got these right here. And then, um, oh, that's not this. This is this. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more leaves on there. All right. Uh, where did, what did I do with that leaf? Oh, here it is. I was like, you all saw me put it down. Where did I put it? Let's put this one right up here. Like this. So we've got this cute little flower and leaf um, embellishment. And then we've got the other leaf. And remember, this is spring, so I can't get too wild. Because, you know, in the spring, not a whole lot is out yet. It's coming out, but it's not quite out. Not like summer. So what I thought I would do is attach these to the pocket, the front of the pocket here. And I think what I'm going to have to do is use the heavy-duty glue because I don't think there's any way that a glue stick is going to stick, uh, is going to do this. So we're going to go ahead and use some of this. Now, I, and I don't care if it doesn't adhere all the way to the sides. If there's a little looseness to it, that's fine. I That's good with me because it's a nature journal. I don't want it to be too, uh, too perfect, you know. Um, okay, there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and I think I'm going to put it, whoops, put it the right way around, Helen. Put the leaves upside down. I'm going to put it right here, a little off center. I know you can't see. Sorry about that. Maybe I would do it this way. I'm just gluing, though. Just, just gluing. 
Okay, so if I do that, I do need a tiny bit of glue here, though. All right, so I've got that like that. And you can actually see the black through it a little bit, um, which is fine with me, which is fine with me. Again, the nature journal, right? So let's attach the one with the, the viney leaf thing on the back. And then um, I'm going to be doing this with different flowers or symbols or leaves or whatever for the season for all four of my journals. And then um, put that on the pockets like this because they all have this kind of pocket. I can also maybe go back and put some stickers on here, some butterfly stickers or something on here as well. I'm not, I'll see if I have anything close to me um, on my desk that I could stick on there. But let's let that dry a little bit because it is fabric. But see, and there's like zero bulk was added by that. But you get that cool image. And if, if you stamp, I think even muslin is probably going to be see-through enough that you could see what's behind it because I think that that's really cool. So we're going to let that, um, put that to the side for a minute. Oh, no, I can't. I, I actually, yes, I can't. I can put it to the side for a little bit. Let that dry for a minute. Going back to washi tape, I got it. I got ahead of myself, and um, when when I did the washi tape pockets, I forgot something else that I wanted to do, and I wanted to take washi tape on the road with me so that I could stick um, stick some washi tape down on things. Now I have these um, little spools for embroidery thread I got they come in a package like this you have to break them apart yourself and I, I know I got these probably at a yard sale somewhere or whatever and I'm not sure I'm looking to see I think the back is not it's really hard to tell if the back is as shiny as the front is I'm not sure so one thing I want to be sure is that my washi tape is not going to stick to the the cardboard itself so I what I'm gonna do is glue two of these together um, so that the just the fronts are showing and then that way I can guarantee that my washi tape isn't gonna stick just in case this backside is more papery than the front so I'm going to just go ahead and glue those together like that okay put a little I got a little glue there Okay, so we're just going to glue that together like that. Now, what I did, and I have one done, but I wanted to have more than one washi tape. I, This is what it looks like, and this one is glued together also. I did this one, and I forgot to show you in the last video when we were doing washi tape. So what I thought I would do with these was I'm going to hang them from this little... Uh, o-ring and it's got one of these little hook rings here that I'm going to put I did put a grommet in each one of my journals here um, because I thought I wanted to hang something down there but what I'm going to do is hang some of these on there with the washi tape and because I have two just two signatures and they're this far apart it will just dangle between the two of them and that will be fine so let me just see this one here, make sure. Okay, that one's all dry, so let's go ahead and load this up. I'm using this pretty washi tape. It's got some pretty little flowers and stuff on it, very springy. So we're just gonna go ahead and wind some of this around this. Um, I wonder if this would be considered a bobbin. I don't know, but I know it is for, you use them for um, embroidery floss. So I'm just going to put go back and forth. I want to put enough on here that if I, you know, have some little leaves to glue in or little flowers or something to tape in that I've got plenty of um, washi. Maybe I'll just go one more time and maybe we'll just end it like right there before that pretty red flower, like right there. Okay, so this is how I'm taking my washi tape out with me, okay? So what I'm going to do is I've got some pliers here and I'm going to go ahead and open the O-ring um, 
some people call them O-rings, some people call them jump rings. I'm not sure, you know, if one's right and one's wrong or if they're both. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and open them. Now remember, when you open an O-ring, you always open back to front. You never pull it apart. You just go back to front like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my two little washi tape samples in there. And then I'm going to push it back together. Uh, make sure it's together. Okay, it is. So then I've got this. So I've got my little washi samples like that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and they will be clipped onto this so that they will be dangling in the middle like this. And like I said, my my two signatures are going to be on either side. This is going to be absolutely fine to do that. I'm not going to close it because I do still need to sit, uh, put the signatures in, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea that they're going to be like that. So that's that. Now, the other thing is for fabric, you know I have my little... Um, now I'm just going to take this off while I'm working on the other little thing. Uh, let me get this back off. Oof. Okay. Um, and I'll put that on, like I said, after I sew the signatures on. My little board, writing board that I have, and I'm going to clip them to the back of the book like that. So I'll know, ha have them handy. But I thought maybe I'd put a little bit of ribbon on my cute little... Uh, writing board clip here and or make it cute right so let's go ahead and I did color coordinate it with the journal itself with the, the cover and that's what I'm doing with with all of them I'm trying to keep with the season and the colors that are on the art prints that I have attached to the front so I'm just going to go ahead and tie this in a little knot here um, like this to put that on and then I think I'm actually going to put one where's the other piece what did I do with the other piece oh I was oh here it is I flung it over here okay I think I'll put one on the the other piece on the back so I have two because why not and then um I think that's it for today for these prompts I've used fabric in two different ways um there, I've got my little things here. I've got fabric in two different ways. I've got the fabric here in this little knot thing, and then I've got the fabric on the uh, pockets here. And then, of course, I went back to show you how um, I meant to do it, to take that washi tape on the road with me um, also. So um, that was it. I didn't want to use buttons or lace or anything like that. I'll tell you why I didn't use buttons next week, but um, lace and um, whatever there were uh, the other things, um, they just didn't go with this kind of journal. They're, they're just not right for what I want for this type of journal. I like to put those things in my other journals, but in this particular journal, I did not uh, want to use them. So um, I just figured I could just decorate these pockets a little bit and I'm going to see maybe I have some, as a matter of fact, I think I do have some vintage Denison butterfly labels that I might put on these pockets here, maybe for the spring and the summer one, um, and then find some stickers for the fall and autumn that or the fall and winter that are more appropriate for them. So anyway, guys, that is it. I hope that you are playing along or watching all the other videos. There's lots of great inspiration out there, lots of good ideas. So watch everyone else. Hit that hashtag stash to treasure and you'll see all the videos. Uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. It just takes one second, but it really helps others to see my videos. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.